Nowadays, fans of football video games can look forward to yearly installments of the Madden franchise, but back in the early days of gaming, quality football titles were tough to find. There are various console and handheld games which tried to replicate the experience of throwing touchdown passes, but unfortunately the technology of the time period did not allow gamers to experience anything close to the immersive gameplay we have today. The NES arrived on the scene with titles like 10-yard fight and LJN's NFL, but these games didn't provide much to gamers looking for a quality 8-bit football action. NES owners did not receive a decent football game until 1989, but the game they did receive is not only one of the best football titles ever, it's one of the best titles ever released for the system, period. That game is Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl for the NES was a port of the original 1987 arcade game of the same name. This title did not have a license to use NFL team names and player likenesses. In fact, only two fictional teams were selectable. But this game stands out due to its large two-monitor cabinet, detailed graphics, support for up to four players, and super fun gameplay. The NES port features less spectacular graphics and support for only two players, but the core gameplay is just as fun and accessible as its arcade counterpart. And while Tecmo Bowl is arguably the best interpretation of the NFL in video game form up until this point, there are a few differences between this game and a typical NFL broadcast. For starters, this title does not have an NFL license to use actual team names. What it does have, however, is a deal with the NFL Players Association to use player names, rosters, and statistics from the 1987 and 1988 seasons. Another way Tecmo Bowl varies from the actual NFL is by only having 9 players from each team on the field at a time as opposed to the NFL's 11 players. The lack of players on the field does not affect gameplay in the least and this game is still a blast to play. Players can choose between three gameplay modes, one player, two player, and coach. In one player mode, the player can choose their favorite team and take on the computer. After each victory, the player is given a password to continue their quest for the championship. Two player mode features two players battling each other in an exhibition game, and in coach mode, players only choose the plays while the computer simulates the results. Now speaking of plays, the playbook consists of four offensive plays. When on defense, a player attempts to anticipate the other player's choice and select the same play, which if successful, results in a total collapse of the offensive line and leads to big defensive plays like sacks and tackles in the backfield. When playing in two-player mode, it's a good idea to cover your controller, because some unscrupulous players will sneak a peek at what player you're picking and try to get an advantage. Not saying I've ever done anything like this, but I have heard about it. Now as awesome as Tecmo Bowl was, the sequel was even better. Tecmo Super Bowl was released for the NES in 1991 and took everything that worked from the first title and expanded on it. Not only did this game have the rights to use players from the 1991 and 1992 rosters, they could finally use the NFL teams they played for as well. The playbook was expanded, and the presentation was upgraded with more cutscenes and higher production value overall. This title perfected the Tecmo Bowl experience, and its legacy lives on to this very day as a community of modders release a new version every year with updated rosters. Tecmo Bowl has been released in a variety of systems over the years, but in my opinion, nothing captures the magic that these titles had on the original NES. These games still hold up, and while modern football games manage to capture the NFL experience in much greater detail, there is still something so fun about the simple, stripped-down gameplay of the Tecmo Bowl titles. These games are true classics, and their lasting legacy can be seen even 35 years after the game's original release. If you've never played these true pieces of gaming history, I highly recommend giving these titles a shot. You won't be disappointed. Unless you're playing against Los Angeles. Then you'll be really disappointed because Bo Jackson is unstoppable in this game. Trust me.